ring Betty. Let's see how long she takes to turn up. She's got to walk and walk and walk, apparently. Come on. Hey. Beck, can you hear me? Yeah. You all right? Yeah. It's all right, I'm having a cough, isn't it? Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, What's all this about you? You want to do a chicken stew, um, chicken broth or something? Yeah, so let me explain to you what I've done. Yeah. I've stripped a chicken that's already cooked. Yeah. Got a carcass, got its legs, got its bones, got a bit of uh, meat on it. I've thrown it yeah. in a pot. I've filled it up with water. Well, not filled it up, but I've, uh, no. just above the chicken. And yeah. it's on the gas at the moment. Yeah. I thought there's no point using electric because we didn't have electric in the war. So I've, I've managed to go and buy one of them little gas cookers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get as authentic as I can. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, um, and the, the old man reckons that um, you're the lady to tell me how to make it. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. But, well, you've got to cook the bones for quite a while. Now, when you say quite a while, just elaborate. I mean, we're talking an hour, half hour? What? Uh, about three quarters. Of, well, you see, it isn't a very big chicken, is it? The you what? haven't got many bones, No, you? there's not many bones. No, this thing must have been running around for months because it's skinny as anything. Um, well then, so I'd say three quarters of an hour. And then what? Then have you got a, have you got a chicken cube or anything you can put in it? I can find one. Yeah, but if you can put the once you cook the bones. Yeah. Then take the bones out, right? Yeah. Leave all the all the broth there. Yeah. Put put in all your vegetables and your chicken cube. Yeah. And cook that, and then if if you want it a little bit thicker, I don't know if you've got any corn flour. You put a little bit of corn flour in. All right. But um, you know, it all depends how you want it. Yeah, I mean, because how, how much older are you than the old man then? Six years. Oh, so you can actually you can really remember this stuff then? Oh, of course I can. Yeah, well, I don't want to. I don't want to assume anything. I mean, because when I look at you, I think, oh, you know, she's still half decent. You know, she don't look <laughs> you ninety-two. Seen, you haven't seen me lately. Oh, blimey, don't! Is it that bad? <laughs> you haven't seen me lately. Oh. No, no, no. Things aren't that good, but um, <laughs> I'm still here, so that's oh, amazing. Well, yeah, that is the main thing. Well, you need to look after yourself. You're keeping yourself in and isolating, are you? Oh yes. Oh yes, don't go out. I haven't gone out for a long, long time. Oh right, oh good. Oh well, no. you just make sure you don't. No, I, I don't. And no. have you have you got somebody getting your gear? Well, Graham does, yeah. Oh right. Yeah, because he's here, isn't he? Oh, okay. Yeah, so he he, he goes and does the shopping. Yeah. <coughs> yes. The only thing is, I've still got to go to the hospital for my infusions, and you know, I thought that's a bit odd, really. Well, it is in these day and age, isn't it? They, yeah, would, they wouldn't actually send anyone out to you then? No, I've got no, because I have to, I've definitely got, I've had a letter from the hospital yesterday stating I must still have my infusions as normal. All right. So I've still, I've still got to go to Boston hospital to get my infusion done. All right, well, you need to do that then, you need to make sure. So, um, so I'm just going to clarify with you, okay? Yeah. Um, chicken, bones, meat on, the, uh, the bone makes no odds, put it in, put the water over the top. Yep. Do I put it in boiling water? Do I boil the water no, first? No, bring it to the boil. Yeah. Bring it to the boil, then just turn it down and let it cook normally, you know? Right, okay. But don't let it boil all the time, because otherwise you'll have no no um, liquid left. Yeah. All right. All well, right? That, yeah, that, that, that would actually make sense then. That's why it didn't work the first time. Keep your lid on it, Al, because otherwise all your liquid will go anyway. All right. Evaporate. Yeah, no, all right. So I'll keep your lid that. on, and then from time to time, just have a little look at it. And if it needs a little bit of a top up, give it a little bit of a top up. All right. No, I okay, should but, do that. And also, put your salt and pepper in, won't you? So, did you do all this during the war then? Oh, of course you did. 
Well, where did you get corn flour from? Well, you had, we, had, we had flour and stuff, yeah, in war. Did you? Yeah, oh, yeah. I heard you were a little bit light-fingered. You used to go and nick it, is that right? <laughs> no, 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 I was lucky, actually, because I used to work for a company, and next door to this, this company, Marilla Pickles, um, he had a shop. And he used to get me lots and lots of things. Did he? Yeah. What did you have to give him in return then? And nothing. Nothing. Oh, Bill Coker, his name was. <laughs> oh, you remember that name, didn't you? I remember, yeah. I've still got all my faculties. Have you? You see, just that uh, you can't remember my name. Oh, yes, I can. What is it? <laughs> oh, Steve. You called me Al a moment ago. Oh, no, I didn't. It's Stephen. Mental. <laughs> There's definitely a difference between you two. <laughs> yeah, there definitely is, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Keep that one yeah. going. So, okay. So All right then, babe. What, what, what veg are you going to put in it? I wasn't going to put anything in it. I was just going to leave it as it is because, I mean, you know, it's been running around in the grass and eating all oh. the... I just thought it'd have it all in it. Oh, yeah, that would taste lovely. That would taste lovely. So I've definitely... All your veggies. Uh, all right, all right. All right? All right, I'll have to go and buy some of that now. Well, there you are. If, if you can find any, that is. Well, if not, I'll have to grow it. Do you remember growing it during the war? Oh, yeah. No, I was lucky because we used to have a, an old garden around who ours, Boise, his name was. You remembered all the fellas, didn't you? Oh, of course I do. Oh, I bet you did, <laughs> eh? What did I Boise... Remember, I remember everything. Yeah. Please. What did Boise used to give you? Did he used to hand you his potatoes then? <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Small one, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Have a carrot. <laughs> That's not a <laughs> carrot. Oh, sorry, love. <laughs> yeah. 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 Bless yeah, you. No, he, he used to do all that veg. And Johnny will tell you, we were so lucky because we had a beautiful orchard garden. We had every fruit tree under the sun in our garden. Cool. Raspberry canes, gooseberries, red currants, blackberries. Oh, don't. It sounds like Willy Wonka's factory. We were, we were so lucky when we were kids. Yeah, we had oh. a beautiful, beautiful garden. See, half of them don't realise, do they? You, you know, you can get a, a little patch of uh, green now and just bring those days back, though, can't you? It doesn't well, take a lot. Of course you can. Of course you can. You don't need acres and acres. No, oh my god, girl. Anyway. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, on, on that right. note, I won't keep you then. No, anyway, thank God for that. Speak to you. Yeah. And what are those little boys doing? I thought you just said you weren't going to talk to me. You're just banging on about the boys now. A oh, minute, let me tell. No, they're all right. They're lovely. What are they doing? Uh, at the moment, sleeping. No, in the bath. They've gone in the bath. Have they? Yeah. They must, be, they must be getting quite big. They are now. I mean, one's about 14. I don't know it was the last time you saw them. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Listen, it's about time that I had you sent me a photograph of them. I'll do that. Please do that. I'll do that. Have I got your um? I got your email and everything else or what? I've got an email. Well, how the bloody hell am I supposed to send it? Just the modern day. See what I mean? We're not in wartime. I can't well, put you, a stamp you, on it. You'll have to send an ordinary photograph. Oh, blimey. I'll draw it for you. Well, all right, you draw it for me. All right, I'll get them to you. Yeah, okay. All right, darling, you be safe, okay. yeah? Yeah, and you. All right, take care, I love yeah. you. Bye-bye. And you, bye.